How are changes in the UK legal sector affecting business values? The legal sector has changed significantly in the past five years as a result of the pandemic, Brexit and the ever-changing technological advances. The sector was one of those most able to embrace the move to a new hybrid working model. However, that appears to have opened a Pandora's box and the legal sector is now suffering a growing threat from what's been dubbed the Great Resignation. Fear and a burnout is a real issue as qualified staff emerge from the pandemic no longer prepared to accept the employment status quo. Is the sector equipped to quickly adapt as employees increasingly understand their power amid record vacancies and demand a better work-life balance and remuneration? The market is also facing a technological crossroads. As with all aspects of modern life, clients increasingly expect a digital interaction with their legal representatives. Likewise, Fian has required the data tools they need to be effective in a rapidly changing world. The investment required to join up both sides of that equation, while necessary and likely to increase productivity long term, will incur a short term cost that will further pressure margins across the industry. Finally, Inflation and the cost of living crisis are likely to put further pressure on other operational functions in the legal sector. Legal professionals are already voting with their feet, but with so many unfilled vacancies across the UK economy, how much longer before non-fee earning support staff demand pay increases or start to look elsewhere, adding further pressure on practices margins? So how are all these challenges affecting the overall values across the legal sector? Based on the latest financial data for the thousands of the UK's leading legal firms, values are still growing at double-digit rates of around 11%. This compares to a UK-wide average increase of around 2%. The top-level average masks some serious fragmentation in business values by size of company and the niche legal services offered within the wider sector. In total, Over a quarter of the UK's leading legal firms saw their value fall in the latest year, despite strong average growth. Only 303 firms have seen their value rise in each of the previous three years. Within the industry, there is a growing divide in valuation performance based on size. The 10 largest legal firms have seen their value grow by 15%. In contrast, the next tier of companies, large but not the industry titans, have seen a more moderate 4% growth in value. According to the latest Plimpton analysis, average company values across the legal sector have risen in the latest year by around 11%. That's more than double the 4.4% rise we saw in the previous pandemic ravaged year and beats the all-industry UK average of just 2%. In fact, across the legal sector, values have risen in each of the last three years. The final area worth mentioning are the niche service providers within the wider legal sector. There is a sharp contrast in fortunes depending on the legal services offered. Perhaps unsurprisingly, immigration and conveyancy were the two areas of law that saw the highest growth in average business values, 26 and 21% respectively. Elsewhere, medical legal and probate providers both saw values fall in the latest period. It's clear that the legal sector is under increasing pressure due to the change in working patterns, HR costs and increasing technological advances. To help our listeners make sense of some of the impact, we are offering a free insight report looking at business value trends across the legal market. For a free copy of this latest insight report, please click on the link below or email me at c.evans at and we'll get that process for you immediately.